right, this week I'm headed down to a property that's full of bobcats, and we're gonna put out a, a couple of box traps that are specifically built to catch bobcats and see if we can get one. Uh, it's uh, January, it's cold and snowy, it's the perfect time for doing a little bit of bobcat trapping, so uh, thanks for watching. All right, well, I'm, I'm all the way out here and I've found my set location. So this particular property, the landowner gets a lot of pictures on his trail cameras that he runs for uh, keeping track of deer. He gets a lot of pictures of bobcats and he kind of gave me a, a little bit of a general idea of where he sees them. And uh, I'm in one of those locations now. And that's where I'm gonna put my first trap. I've kind of cleaned it up a little bit here but there's a big bunch of cedars back in through here and then it comes around and we've got a very open kind of a food plot area. So what I've done is I've just cleared an area there. I'm gonna put my box back in there. I'm gonna dress it up a little bit with some eye appeal and obviously some bait and uh, lure and I guess we'll hope for the best. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this set. Okay, so I'm back in here, I've got my box. I, I built these box specifically for this purpose of trapping bobcats. Um, they, they, I found some dimensions online years ago, put it together. They are built to fit a 220 bear, and the pan is modified well, not the pan, I guess it's made into a pan, but the trigger's modified for to make it a little more conducive to the bobcat actually putting its, its head down in there. So I'll bring you closer. So these traps are open on the backside. There's a screen back there because back bobcats like to, to go into areas where they, they don't feel like they have to back out. Um, so you've got uh, a couple of areas here to put your your trap springs in. I've built it up a little bit here um, with snow to kind of get the, the box up off the ground just slightly. And I've packed it in a little bit right in here. So, um, and I'll pack in a little more to make it totally, totally level. So we've kind of got it up just a little bit there. Um, what I'm using for bait is I've got a couple of chunks of deer that have been frozen that never ended up getting processed. I put some of that back in there. I'm going to put some uh, predator bait kind of on the deer. And then I'm going to finish it off with a little Habacher's Hob Wildcat lure um, just to kind of draw them in. I'm going to go ahead and get this set and then I'll back out and give you an overall look.
So you can see, I've obviously I put my bait back in there. And then you can see how the 220 just sits right in there. It is, it is rock solid. The pan or the trigger has been bent, modified it, and I built a, a uh, just a piece out of plywood to kind of, and bend it backward. So you can see they put their, they'll try to push their head in there to get to there, crawl in that box and it, and it should uh, collapse around their neck. Last thing we're gonna do is we will take some of, just some colorful ribbon. We'll cut a few strands and we'll hang it in that tree above the trap. Just kind of maybe draw the cats in if they're coming down this path here. Okay, so that's our set. We've added our ribbon, a couple strands of it, kind of on the edge of the path and then just over the trap. We've got our trap set, we've got our bait in. Now all we need is a bobcat. We'll go on to the next set. Okay, so we're at spot number two here. Um, this might be the better of the two spots. This spot has caught a lot of bobcats on that camera right there. You can see there's this beaten path. It takes them back into this really thick cover of evergreens. They walk across this food plot and go out into these other thickets. There's kind of a little creek for them to follow. I assume it's just kind of a natural pinch point funnel that they hit, but a lot of bobcats pass through this area. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna stick this box up under these this, these shrubs and these branches right here and do uh, essentially the same exact thing that we just did. Okay, that's set number two. We've got two rock solid spots here. Uh, we're gonna leave these out for, you know, maybe a couple of weeks. It could take some time before we, we get a cat to cross through here. Um, but we're gonna be checking them and uh, hope we can find one. Thanks for watching. All right, well, we've had these box traps out here for about a week and a half or so and uh, come down here to check and we, uh, we've got something in one of them. So let's go take a look. All right, it looks like we've got a big plump raccoon in this box trap here. And uh, not the bobcat we're after, but looks like a pretty nice raccoon. Perfect catch. That's a heavy, heavy prime raccoon. So let's get him taken out and uh, I'll let you have a better look at him. All right, here's that... Uh, Here's that raccoon. It's a big boar coon and about as prime of uh, fur as you're gonna see in Iowa during the trapping season. We're in uh, just about the middle of January, so trapping season's only got a couple weeks left. And this, this raccoon is just, 
beautiful. Um, big boar coon, it's really heavy one. Nice, uh, nice, nice prime adult, so um, not our target catch, but uh, we'll take it. Um, the bobcats down here just uh, aren't finding our traps right now, and uh, but we got something nonetheless. So it's always exciting uh, when you're setting traps. You come down and you've got a you've got something in one of your your traps, and whether it's your target or not, any fur bear is a good one. All right, that's going to do it for this trapping video. Uh, no bobcats, but our two box traps did. They did work out for us. We got this big prime boar raccoon here to show for it so if you like the video hit the thumbs up if you're new to the channel please consider subscribing and uh, as always thanks for watching